you all soon enough to enjoy yours. We take away two, but we add one. And Joshua has asked for my blessing to enter the catechumenate and to become a, a learner. That's what catechumen means, to become a learner about the holy orthodox apostolic faith, the faith which has existed since the first century, the faith which, which the apostles taught. This faith, which has now been embraced by two more, will soon be embraced by five more, and even more after that. And so you say goodbye to two comrades, but you welcome another. And so we want to uh, welcome you, Joshua, tell you how much we love you and care about you and hope that this journey will be a spiritually profitable one for you as you approach and advance toward the kingdom of heaven. I want to warn you about something. Uh-oh. want to warn you about something. As I've warned all of you, and many of you who have been catechumens before, what you're doing today is a very good and God-glorifying and wonderful and holy thing. It's going to make God very happy. It's not going to make the devil very happy at all. And so he's going to come after you. And he's going to attack you as often as he can with temptations and trials and things like that. He's going to test you. And the only reason he can do that is because he allows it. So if these tests and temptations and things come, know that you're being tested. That the devil is trying everything he can do to grab you and pull you off this narrow path to the kingdom. Resist that. You have so many tools that you are... Uh, and, and available to you right now. You have the, the very powerful sign of the cross. You have prayer, you have fasting, you have almsgiving, you have the divine liturgy and all the other divine services in which you can be strengthened to bear your cross as the Lord has said, anyone who wants to come after me, take up his cross and follow me. So you're beginning that journey today and very soon we hope it will end in your chrismation and in your participation in the body and blood of our Lord uh, on an ongoing basis. So I want to ask the other catechumens to come on either side of Joshua. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In your name, O Lord God of truth, and in the name of your only begotten Son and of your Holy Spirit, I lay my hand upon your servant Joshua, who has been accounted worthy to flee to your holy name, and to be protected under the shelter of your wings. Remove far from him his ancient delusion, and fill him with the faith that is in you, and with hope and love, that he may understand that you alone are the true God, with your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Grant him to walk in all commandments, to observe those things which are acceptable to you. For if a man do these things, he shall find life in them. Inscribe him in your book of life, and unite him to the holy flock of your inheritance. May your holy name be glorified in him, together with that of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your life-giving Spirit. Let your eyes ever regard him with mercy, and let your ears attend to the voice of his supplication. Let him rejoice in the work of his hands and in all his generation, that he may 